हेलो लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन नमस्कार सत श्रीकाल सलाम दिस इज अमित कपूर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ प्लैनेट ऑफ एनर्जी प्लैनेट ऑफ एक्शन प्लैनेट ऑफ ऑल अराउंड यू कैन से ब्रेवनेस करेज विल पावर अ नेम ऑफ प्लैनेट इज मार्स मार्स इज गोइंग टू चेंज इट्स साइन फ्रॉम टॉरस टू जर्मनी फ्रॉम फोर्टीन अप्रैल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन सिक्स टू 2nd ऑफ जून 1:16 सिक्सटीन ए एम I repeat this timing Mars is going to change its sign from Gemini to uh, sorry to Taurus to Gemini from 14th April 6:39 a.m. to 2nd of June 1:16 a.m. So you know very well my all predictions are based on your ascendant sign nothing to do with your zodiac sign or moon sign just uh, listen uh, just keep your ascendant sign in your mind and listen my video you will definitely get some information related to mars transit as per your ascendant so first of all i am going to tell you what mars represent in birth chart mars is a planet of action oriented planet mars is a planet of brave red uh, braveness courage strong will power determination hard work intelligence a sharp mind you can say those native who are uh, ips officer or in a defense they serve for our uh, our country they have a strong mars in birth chart if you have a mars in first house your mars is 10th house 9th house 5th house in aries sign in scorpio sign in capricorn sign you will definitely blessed with a lot of success in life <clears throat> because mars is a planet of energy mars is a planet of action oriented you can say mars is all around the planet of your braveness your courage so today i'm going to talk about transit of mars in gemini sign which is going to happens from 14th april 2021 to 2nd of june 2021 near about 45 to 50 days mars transit uh, in gemini sign which is a enemy sign of uh, mars mars transit in gemini mars is not comfortable in gemini sign but i'm going to tell you about as per your ascendance which type of results you will get during mars transit in gemini sign so let's talk for let's start for aries ascendants aries ascendants your ascendants lord being a your first house lord and your eighth house lord mars transit in your third house from 14th april 2021 to 2nd of june 2021 this whole time your confidence level will be sky high you are you will improve a lot of lot of things in your life you will feel much relax and comfort mars aspecting is on your 6th house your 9th house and your 10th house professionally you will be sky high and top it is this whole time when mars transit in your third house your confidence level will be sky high and due to your confidence level and courage you will create some magic at your workplace your source of earning will develop your short distance journeys will give you very fruitful results you are ascend the slot transit in your third house you will get very good response from your siblings or your siblings will support you you will enjoy all around success your hard work will convert in sweet success mars is mars is may not comfortable in gemini sign but in your third house this is one of the strongest position of mars ascend the slot transit in your third house aspecting is on your sixth Ninth and tenth house, you will definitely blessed with a good fortune. You will definitely blessed with a lot of work at your workplace. Your seniors will be satisfied from your performance. You will enjoy all around success. Mars transit in your third house will bring lot of good fortune for you. It is just need to perform your uh, perform your best. The more you put energy and effort at your workplace, the more you get fantastic results. Because Mars transit in your third house will give you lot of courage, braveness, confidence, and due to your strong confidence. and fill power you will definitely achieve big goals during this time from 14th april to 2nd of june 2021 you will definitely feel much relax comfort and you will enjoy all around success this whole time your siblings will support you or you may support your sibling this whole time it is one of the ultimate time for you if you want to start anything new you may start your old debts will be clear if you are willing to apply any new loan your loan will be granted because mars fourth aspect is on your sixth house from third house you will definitely bless with a lot of financial gains you, if uh, if you are unemployed you will definitely get job 
if your business is not going to give a good profit so during this time this time frame from 14th april to 2nd of june 2021 you will definitely blessed with a big amount of money from your workplace your seniors will be satisfied from your performance you will easily fulfill your targets because this whole time mars aspecting is on the 6th house your 9th house and your 10th house which is very promising aspects of mars ladies <coughs> perform your best put your energy think positive think big you will definitely achieve big milestones and must wear one uh, red coral uh, in the right hand uh, in you can say in index uh, sorry man ring finger you will definitely feel much relaxed comfort good fortune is in your favor must read om sita ram cha hanumate nama om sita ram cha hanumate nama read this mantra 101 time 121 time 151 time more you chant this mantra more you feel positivity and good confidence and courage uh, and you will enjoy a lot of good health and must read lord hanuman chalisa before you sleep try to help any needy people if you if you are willing to do some good karma during this transit you will definitely bless with a lord hanuman ji and you will bless with a lot of milestone goals this whole time brings a lot of happiness peace of mind success good gains are there you just need to perform your best Yeah, the way you put your energy at your workplace if you think positive and put your positive energy at your workplace you will definitely get positive results now i'm going to talk about uh, taurus ascendant taurus ascendant this is one of the biggest relief for you because mars is going to change its house from your first house to second house transit in your second house aspecting is on your fifth house your eighth house and your ninth house being a lord of your 12th house and uh, your 7th house mars transit in your second house mars is not a beneficiary planet for your ascendant so you need to be careful while talking with your family members you need to be careful while talking with your elders at home this whole time from 14th april 2021 to 2nd of june 2021 you are not in a comfort position in the terms of relationship with your elders at home your eating habits will arise you may uh, you know gain your weight this whole time you are getting confused what to do or not related to your family members this whole time taurus because mars is not a beneficiary planet as per your ascendant your second lord your sorry your seventh lord and your 12th lord transit in your second house you may get some foreign uh, transactions your savings will may rise if you are doing any type of foreign work if you are important exporter if you are any type of doing job or employment in foreign land you will definitely blessed with a lot of money which is came from the uh, other country or which is came from the far away place where you are living this whole time your source of funding will develop there is no doubt but relationship will be a target you need to be careful while talking with your uh, family members you need to be careful while eating habits try to avoid oily food junk food this is not a right time for uh, you know uh, talking loose talk or uh, disrespect to your elders try to give respect and honor to your elders uh, and your family member they may demand something from you which you are not able to fulfill that's why your relationship will be under shadow so this whole time you need to make a good balance between your professional life and your personal life overall professionally you will be top and sky high you will feel much relaxed and comfort but your savings they may spend as a unexpected ex expenditures you need to be careful this whole time taurus you will confuse double minded disturb because mars transit in your second house create a lot of confusion in your family uh, in your relationship especially uh, if you are living in joint family there is a lot of uh, problem or dispute are there now i'm going to talk about uh, gemini ascendant gemini ascendant Uh, Mars is going to transit in your first house. Your eleventh lord transit in your first house. You need to be careful while talking with others. Don't show your ego or attitude in front of your spouse or in front of your loved one or your friends. This whole time, fourteenth April, twenty twenty one to second of June, twenty twenty one, Germany. You need to be careful and alert because you will be a part of any problem due to your ego, due to your uh, you know arrogance nature. You will be a part of any litigation or problem. Try to use good words. Be humble. Be polite in front of anyone if you want to grow because. Jupiter is going fifth aspect. Jupiter Mars received fifth aspect from Jupiter, which is very good for you. But overall, Mars transit in first house. You need to be careful. Don't show your arrogance nature. Don't be uh, aggressive. Listen properly. 
give some time to your spouse and listen her properly you will definitely be in a good uh, relationship otherwise you will be a part of any problem or any litigation try to perform your best at your workplace if you want to achieve some goals or if you want to achieve some targets otherwise your seniors are not satisfied from your performance mars transit in your first house in karl purush chart mars is very comfortable but as per your ascendance mars is not comfortable in your first house overall you will get mixed result during this time from 14th april to 2nd of june 2021 you must read uh, lord hanuman chalisa every night before you sleep to get positive energy and you will definitely feel much relax and positivity now i'm going to talk about cancer ascendance cancer ascendance mars is a ruling planet for you transit in your 12th house if you're willing to settle in foreign land you will get visa if you are applying if you are already apply pr you will get pr you will get visa you will get foreign documents you may migrate from one uh, site to another place you may move from one place to another place this whole time mars transit in your 12th house in dradash bhav you need to be careful while spending your money some unexpected expenditures will irritate you you need to be careful about your health about uh, health of your family member will be a matter of concern your money will spend or, on a hospitalization any type of family problem will arise or any type of relationship with your siblings will be affected this whole time mars transit in your 12th house from 14th april to 2nd of june 2021 you will be confused double minded disturbed you are trying to perform your best at your workplace but you are failed to get good results because mars is in your 12th house which is not a very promising position cancer perform your best think you are positive don't be a part of any arguments any litigation or any problem otherwise you will face a lot of problems now i'm going to talk about uh, leo sendus leo sendus mars transit in your uh, 11th house which is one of the strongest position mars transit in your 11th house you will definitely blessed with a lot of source of earning your savings will rise your source of earning will develop your pending work will click good fortune is in your favor if you have a mars mahadasha antardasha or patyantardasha as per your birth chart you will definitely blessed with a lot of support from higher authority this whole time brings lot of positivity your friends will support you your siblings will support you your elder siblings may help you a lot mars transit in your 11th house will give you a lot of peace of mind success good gains are there materialistic gains are there your finances will be upgrade your savings will rise your source of earning will develop you are performing your best at your workplace leo perform your best this period never come back when your 9th house lord transit in your uh, 11th house this is a one of the ultimate combination you need to perform your best mars transit in your 11th house you should touch feet of your uh, elder brother at your family you should take blessings from your brother uh, brother side you will definitely bless with a lot of gains leo mars is your beneficiary planet and transit in your 11th house if you have a mars mahadasha antardasha your desires will be fulfilled your dreams will be fulfilled the more you put efforts to fulfill your dreams the more you get fantastic results this whole time will create magic in your life when you will sky high top you will enjoy a lot of sorts of earning good gains are there your family and your siblings will support you perform your best because 14th april to 2nd of june 2021 you will definitely blessed with a big amount of money which is came from your hard work your hard work convert in a sweet success leo perform your best focus on your targets you will definitely achieve lot of goals now i'm going to talk about virgo ascendant mars transit in your 10th house mars is not a beneficiary planet for you but 10th house is a very strong house for mars you will definitely get good profit from your job good profit for your business if you are in employed you may get a uh, you know good uh, job this whole time you will get mixed result one side you will earn a lot of money from your business because mars is very strong in your 10th house if you are real estate merchant if you are a uh, business related to vehicle sale purchase or property sale purchase you will definitely blessed with a big amount of money or your deals will crack and you will enjoy a uh, lot of finances but if you are linked with any type of construction you know company property construction real estate liquor related business 
you will definitely bless with a big amount of money and this whole time brings a lot of positivity peace of mind and your father will support you but if you are in job you need to perform your best put your energy perform your best try to uh, you know give your 100 percent 200 percent performance at your workplace then you will get only 30 40 percent results if you are in a job overall this whole time from 14th april to 2nd of june 2021 virgo for you this is a mixed fruit results you will get and one side you are feeling very down and upset and second time sometime you're feeling very positive energy because mars fourth aspect is on your first house seventh aspect is on your fourth house eighth aspect is on your fifth house so you need to be careful you need to be careful while talking with your colleagues with your seniors at your workplace overall you will get mixed results now i'm going to talk about libra ascendus mars transit in your ninth house some long distance journeys will make you happy you will get good gains from long distance journeys libra mars is not a beneficiary planet for you mars is a markish in your uh, birth chart as per your ascendance in ninth house mars transit you will be a part of uh, any type of big organization if you want to switch off your job you may switch off your job because mars is very comfortable in ninth house in kalpur chart mars will give fantastic results in ninth house you will definitely blessed with a long distance journey which is linked with your uh, professional life you will enjoy all around success comforts and good fortune is in your favor your family members your elders at your home will support you and with the blessings of your parents, with the blessings of your uh, elders at home, you will enjoy all around success. This whole time, you will be sky high and top. You just need to perform your best and must read Om Sita Ram Cha Hanumate Nama. Om Sita Ram Cha Hanumate Nama. Om Sita Ram Cha Hanumate Nama. Must chant this mantra to get positive energy around you. Now I'm going to talk about Scorpio Sanders, your ruling planet, your first house lord, your sixth house lord, transit in your Ashtam Bhav. Need to be careful while driving. Your health, your health will be a matter of concern. Some hidden problem will arise, and you will be a part of any problem, any litigation. Don't use any uh, rash word or wrong words or abuse. Don't try to abuse anyone. Give some, give respect and regard to everyone. Be in a good relationship with everyone. You are a sender, Lord Transcendent, you know, Ashtam Bhav. If you are willing to move from one place to another place, this is the right time. From 14th April to 2nd of June, don't show your trust on strangers. Don't sign any new document. Don't make any promise to anyone because you are not able to fulfill. Finances, you will be, you know, very discomfort because this whole time create a lot of problem, confusion in your mind. You are not in a comfort zone, Scorpio. Read Lord Hanuman Chalisa. Must visit Lord Hanuman Ji Temple every Tuesday night and every Saturday night. You will definitely be blessed with a positive energy. And offer some sweets uh, to Lord Hanumanji on Tuesday night and Saturday night. This whole time, Scorpio, you will be a part of any problem. Your health will be a matter of concern. You are feeling low energy. You are not in a comfort zone. You are out from your comfort zone. Some unexpected expenditures may irritate you. Uh, some type of arguments create a lot of problems at your home or uh, relationship with your elders will be a matter of concern. Scorpio, Think big, think positive from second, 14th April to 2nd of June. Don't start any new work. Don't buy any new vehicle. This whole time you will be a part of any problem or any litigation. Now I'm going to talk about uh, Sagittarius Ascendus. Mars runs in your Saptam Bhav, in your seventh house. You need to be careful while talking with your spouse. Health of your spouse will be a matter of concern. Health of your Spouse will be a matter of concern. Relationship with you and your spouse will be affected. You need to be in a good talks with your spouse. You need to be in a good relationship with your business associates. This whole time from 14th April to 2nd of June, your finances will be grow. Your source of funding will develop. But you will be a part of any litigation or problem with your spouse or with your family member, any type of family member or your loved one or your business associate. This whole time, Sagittarius, you are not in a comfort zone. And due to your arrogance nature, egoistic nature, you will, uh, you know, some uh, friends, uh, relationship with uh, some friends or spouse will be a matter of concern. You are not in a comfort zone. You are feeling very down and upset. But Mars aspecting is on your first house due to your 
uh, strong courage and willpower, you will definitely create some magic at your workplace. If you are in a job, your seniors will be satisfied from your performance. But don't show your ego or attitude. Be humble, be polite. This whole time, Sagittarius, if you perform your best, you will definitely grow a lot. Otherwise, relationship with your spouse will be a matter of concern. Some unnecessary arguments with the spouse will create panic situation at your home. Relationship with your loved one or your spouse, you need to be careful. I'm telling again and again, Sagittarius, this is not very promising transit for you in the terms of relationship with your spouse. Because seventh house, Mars is not a comfortable. Try to keep your mouth mum. Be humble, be polite in front of your spouse and loved one if you want to be in this relationship. Otherwise, problem are there. Now I'm going to talk about Capricorn Ascendance. Capricorn Ascendance, Mars transit in your sixth house. Mars is not a beneficiary planet as per your ascendance and transit in your sixth house. You need to be careful about your health. Uh, your debts will arise. You may, uh, you may apply some loan and your loan will be click. There's a lot of things which will create unbalancing situation in your life. Personal life, you're not in a comfort zone. Professional life from 14th April to 2nd of June, you need to perform your best if you put your 500% efforts at your workplace, then you will get only 50% results. Otherwise, your seniors are not satisfied from your performance. This whole time, only one plus point is your Mars, sixth house Mars transit receiving fifth aspect from Jupiter. It will give you some strength and your competitor are not able to stand in front of you. But you need to perform your best Capricorn if you want to grow in professional life. If you want to achieve some goals or targets, uh, if you are in a uh, you know, job, if you are in, a, in any type of uh, uh, work related to, uh, you can say, IT related work or any type of, uh, you are doctor, you are engineer, you need to be careful. You need to be careful while talking with your seniors at your workplace. But one thing is very promising. Jupiter fifth aspect is on your sixth house, will give you a lot of, lot of strength to achieve lot of goals during this transit. You will get mixed fruit from 14th April to 2nd of June. Professionally, sometime you will be top and sky high and sometime you are getting confused what to do or not. Don't invest your money anywhere. Don't show your trust on anyone. This whole time, don't make any promise with anyone because no, you are not able to fulfill your promise. Be humble and be polite while talking with your spouse, with your loved one. This whole period will create a lot of problems in your personal life and your health will be a matter of concern. Must visit Lord Hanumanji temple every Saturday night and every Tuesday night and offer some sweets to Lord Hanumanji and sit there and chant the mantra Om Sita Ram Cha Hanumate Nama. Om Sita Ram Cha Hanumate Nama. You will definitely feel much relaxed and better in positive energy. Now I'm going to talk about Aquarius Ascenders, Mars in transit in your fifth house. You will get good gains from old investments. If you are dealing in uh, stock market speculations, you will definitely be blessed with a big amount of money. This whole time, you will enjoy a lot of comforts, a lot of peace of mind, your health will fine. And uh, your relationship, like love relationship or marriage, uh, living relationship may convert in a long lasting relationship like marriage. You will be blessed with a lot of new creativity. This whole time from 14th April to 2nd of June 2021, Aquarius, you will be on another height of success because Jupiter is also aspecting us on your fifth house. You will definitely achieve a lot of goals through your creativity. Perform your best, put your energy, Aquarius. Mars may not a ruling planet or may not a beneficiary planet for you, but transit in your fifth house, in Pancham Bhava, Lakshmi Stan, a creativity house, you will definitely achieve a lot of goals. This whole time, Aquarius, you will be sky high and top because Mars seventh aspect is on your 11th house. You will get good connections or good contract from higher authority. Your relationship with your uh, friends and uh, your, uh, you can say your relationship with your loved one will improve. You will get a lot of benefit, advantage from a social circle. You are socializing yourself and you will get fantastic results. This whole time, Aquarius, you will be sky high and top when you are feeling much relaxed and comfort. You are enjoying all around success. Now I'm going to talk about Pisces and uh, your beneficiary planet Mars transit in your fourth house. First of all, you need to be careful about your mother health. Try to be a uh, nice talk with your mother. Give some respect to your mother. Health of your mother will be a matter of concern. 
don't be don't start any arguments or fight with your mother from 14th april to 2nd of june if you touch feet of your mother every day morning before start your uh, day you will definitely blessed with a lot of achievements otherwise you will be a part of any problem health of your mother will be matter of concern but financially professionally you will be sky high and top because mars seventh aspect is is on your 10th house you will bless with a lot of gains some unexpected money will knock you you will enjoy a lot of comforts but talking with your spouse and mother will be a matter of concern during this transit because mars fourth aspect is on your 7th house which is not very good for you transit in fourth house and fourth aspect is on your 7th house relationship with your spouse will be matter of concern due to your ego due to your uh, uh, you know stubborn nature your relationship will be matter of concern with your spouse and health of your mother will be matter of concern professionally you will be sky high professionally you will grow a lot you will enjoy all around success savings will rise finances will upgrade you may get some orders from far away place if you are businessman if you are an employed and after uh, doing your efforts you may get job from 14th april to 2nd of june the way you give respect to your mother the may the way you get fantastic result from good fortune overall this is a good transit for you when you may buy some new car or you may invest your money in real estate a very good period for you sorry uh, sorry pisces perform your best think good and big and always try to be a good talks with your mother and your spouse and make a good balance between mother and spouse if you want to grow during this transit from 14th april to 2nd of june if you're willing to invest your money in real estate this is a right time you will get very good deal you will blessed with a very good deal pisces think good think big give respect to your mother and give respect to your spouse you will definitely grow beyond your expectations need to be careful about your mother health don't ignore any uh, any you know negative symptoms related to your mother health i am praying for your happy future thank you for watching my video namaskar sasikal salam jai hind